Mr. President, Secretary General, the situation in Ukraine has torn the fabric of peace in Eastern Europe. The current situation is worrisome. It requires our full commitment for peace. The latest military attack on Ukraine is unacceptable. It has put people's lives in grave danger. It also threatens regional as well as global peace and stability. As a peaceful nation, Indonesia is committed to contributing towards a world based on perpetual peace and social justice. Indonesia therefore calls for peace to be urgently reinstated in Ukraine. All parties must pursue peaceful resolution through dialogue and diplomacy. The purpose and principles of the UN Charter and international law must be fully upheld, including respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity. Let us not forget that innocent civilians will ultimately bear the brunt of this ongoing situation. We call on all parties to allow and facilitate rapid, safe, and unhindered access of humanitarian assistance to those in need in Ukraine. Having a notable number of Indonesians in Ukraine, we also call on all parties to ensure safe passage for civilians. Let me take this opportunity to thank all parties in, in assisting the ongoing evacuation process of our nationals. Finally, Mr. President, I stress that conflict and tensions benefits no one. Even more so at a time when the world is still grappling with the multifaceted impact of the COVID-19, including the economic repercussions. Our actions here in the General Assembly must serve the bigger interests of humanity. It is based on this spirit that Indonesia strives to ensure that the outcome of this meeting contribute positively towards creating a conducive environment for dialogue and diplomacy to take place, addressing humanitarian needs on the ground, and providing safe passage for all civilians. Let us return to the spirit that built this United Nation. Let us continue to focus on peace and bring peace to Ukraine and Eastern Europe. I thank you, Mr. President. I thank the distinguished representative of Indonesia.